Hi everyone, it's Peter Schiff. This is Wednesday, January 6, 2010. Well, it looks like Chris Dodd has dumped himself. Or more likely, he had a little help from his friends on Capitol Hill. But in any way, the effort to dump Dodd is successful. So, number one, the good news is that Chris Dodd's 30-year reign of terror in the U.S. Senate has come to an end. And there will be a different senator from the state of Connecticut. But I want to make sure that that senator doesn't share um, Chris Dodd's failed ideology, his belief in big government and socialism, and his assault on individual liberties and the Constitution. Remember, Chris Dodd, among all the U.S. senators, is probably the most culpable uh, in helping to lay the foundation uh, for the economic mess that this country is now in, and the policies that Chris Dodd continues to pursue uh, from his Senate seat are ensuring that this crisis only gets worse as time goes by. Now, as far as my Senate race is concerned, I have you know mixed feelings about this announcement. Number one, I said I'm glad that Dodd will be gone uh, because as one of the most corrupt uh, members of the Senate, it's, it's time for him to go. But I was kind of looking forward to running against him. I, I think it was going to be kind of fun, uh, particularly if I could have uh, debated him. But, you know, I didn't enter this race to have fun. I entered it for a reason. And the reason is not just to get rid of Dodd, but to get rid of everything that Dodd stands for. Everything that he's done, that whole principle, that whole mindset that has corrupted Washington and undermined our economy and undermined individual liberties. That's what I want to get rid of. Now, the Democrats think that everything is okay if they can simply replace uh, Chris Dodd with a surrogate, with a protege or a Chris Dodd clone in, in, in Blumenfeld, who is... Uh, the Attorney General here in the state of Connecticut, who today uh, wasted no time in praising, praising the public service and the accomplishments of Chris Dodd. Instead of appraising him, he should have been, he should have been prosecuting him for the crimes he committed. Uh, but if he thinks that Chris Dodd did such a wonderful job as senator, he's just going to go to the U.S. Senate and repeat all those mistakes. In fact, in his statement... Uh, Blumenfeld actually mentioned that it's been a long-held ambition of his to be a United States senator. Well, I think that's great that he's ambitious and he wants to be a senator. But, you know, the country has real serious problems right now. And this is not the time for Connecticut to simply send somebody to Congress to help them to satisfy their personal ambitions and their career goals. Uh, Blumenfeld doesn't understand the problems that this country faces because he doesn't understand Chris Dodd's role in creating those problems in the first place. So all we do by replacing a Chris Dodd uh, with Blumenfeld is we, 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 make, we, we, we don't do anything. We don't accomplish any of our goals except changing the players. But the ideology remains the same. Now, as far as how this might change the dynamics in the race, I certainly think that Blumenfeld is going to be a tougher candidate than Dodd, simply because Blumenfeld is liked and Dodd is not. Uh, so, you know, that's going to be a little bit more difficult, but I think the ideological battle is the same. And remember, my campaign was never just against Dodd the person. It was Dodd's ideology. It is what Dodd stands for. And I'm going to be able to make that same fight and advance those same arguments against whoever the Republic, the Democrats want to put up against me, particularly uh, Blumenfeld. But I do think it's going to make the general election tougher. I used to think if I could win the Republican nomination, it would be a shoe in because I think I thought I could beat Dodd. I don't think it's a shoe in. I think it's a horse race. But I think I can win uh, if we effectively communicate my message to Connecticut. Now, as far as the primary is concerned, I think it actually makes it a little easier for me to get the Republican nomination. I think my two opponents in this race have mainly based on their campaigns on the fact that they're not Dodd. Vote for me. I'm not Chris Dodd. Dodd's got to go. Dump Dodd. Well, he's already dumped. So, you know, that, that changes that dynamic. You can't simply vote for a Republican because they're not Chris Dodd, because now you have a Democrat who's also not Chris Dodd. So I think when the race focuses more on the issues, that helps me. And I think a lot of people who are underestimating my campaign are underestimating uh, Connecticut Republicans. They know what a true conservative is. They understand... Uh, the only person in this race who is going to fight for what they believe in and who is running uh, not simply to advance his own uh, political agenda or his own 
uh, uh, ambitions and his own career goal. But I'm going to fight for the principles that this country was founded on, that we all believe in, and that in particular uh, the Republican primary voters believe in. Uh, so I think when this race focuses more on the issues and not on Chris Dodd, I think that's only going to help me. Also, I want to mention uh, that the fundraising efforts uh, towards the end of the year were great. I think I raised close to $200,000 in the last 10 days of the quarter. I want to thank everybody uh, who donated. You know, we have over 16,000 people who have donated. The counter on the website is way behind. It's not working properly. We're somewhere between 1.4 and 1.5 million raised. I'm not sure exactly. Maybe it's closer to 1.5 than 1.4. Uh, but that's really good. You know, I didn't do a lot of fundraising at all during the second quarter. And the fact that we were able to raise as much money as we did, particularly almost $200,000 in about a week, uh, really shows that I have a lot of support out there. And again, with 16,000 people donating, the average donation is still under $100, which means we still have a lot of uh, firepower. Uh, the people who have donated can donate some more. They can continue to fund this campaign throughout the primary season and into the, the general election. So I think we should try to build on that momentum uh, from the last quarter. Now that this waste is open, we have an open Senate seat. It is in the public eye right now. Uh, this race is all over the news. I'm going to be appearing uh, on, on several television shows today. I'm doing a couple of radio shows. I'm talking to the press. Let's continue that momentum. Let's continue the donations. We got a new quarter now. I know there's a, a money bomb coming up. Uh, in mid uh, in mid uh, um, January, that it's uh, it has to do with Dump Dodd, which is no longer appropriate, I guess, as the name of the money bomb, uh, because he's dumped himself. But let's still try to honor the money bomb and contribute leading into the money bomb, because it's going to take a lot of money uh, to win this race, and it's going to be a tougher race to win in the general election. Now that I'm not facing a badly uh, damaged incumbent in the name of Chris Dodd.